Okay, this is part two of what the food is like um, while incarcerated. Um, it is still September 29th, 2016. It's now 5.56. I'm going to try to get this whipped out because um, I'm kind of hungry and talking about the food in prison and jails is making me lose my appetite. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't mind it. I, I actually love getting questions because this is going to help me with my book. Um, but uh, okay, I promise prison food. Okay, prison food, um, okay, I got sent to Ohio Reformatory for Women, okay, and I, my first day there was October 25th, 2013, it was on a Thursday, I believe, okay, um, and let's see, the, okay, ORW, or Ohio Reformatory for Women, was is um, a state-run facility. There's a couple of um, prisons in the state that are owned by corporations, um, which is really weird. I mean, they profit off of prison prisoners. Um, state prisons are a little bit more like they don't really give a fuck. They put you, they send you there. You do your time. Um, uh, their, their little audits and surveys and stuff like that don't really mean jack. <laughs> um, well, for breakfast, they would serve peanut butter. That was like, a, the, no matter what day of the week it was, you were going to have peanut butter on your tray. Somehow, somewhere. Um, and they would alternate between oatmeal, grits, um, Rice Krispies for a minute there. Um, sometimes cornflakes, uh, Wheaties, you know, all the non-sugary ones, Cheerios, that kind of thing. And Cheerios and peanut butter is actually pretty good. And, um, sometimes on uh, pancake day, we'd get these little small pancakes about yay big that were like frozen and thawed out like two or three times. Um, and like a, you know, a ladle of, um, watered down sugar-free syrup. But I would take the syrup, whatever syrup I had left over from eating the, the little pancakes, um, and I'd put it into my cereal and my peanut butter and stir it up, and it tasted almost kind of like Honey Nut Cheerios. But, you know, whatever. Like I said, you will do different things to your food to make it actually palatable. Um, and I'm not really a picky person, per se. So for me to kind of be like, the food was terrible, believe it, the food was really terrible. <laughs> um... Sometimes they'd give you a peanut butter with jelly or peanut butter with butter. I'm like, that's disgusting. But um, the peanut butter had no salt in it. Jelly was uh, basically sugar-free goo. I mean, sometimes some of, some of us would um, manage to collect little, con little containers with lids. And um, we would squirrel away the jelly and add a little water to it and shake it up and you would have hair gel. But that didn't work in the summertime because bees and flies would be all over your ass. So it worked really well in the winter. Um, let's see, lunch, uh, we, okay, they didn't serve any kind of pork so it was mostly either um, turkey or beef or chicken. Chicken wasn't very a very often thing. Sometimes it was a chicken patty but the chicken patty was actually hollow in the middle. It was really weird, like they'd have a real thin layer of breading, and then you'd have like this grayish meat that they set, they swore up and down was chicken, and then there'd be like a pocket, like a pocket of air in between the two. It was just very strange. Um, and they'd give you a big dollop of mustard. It's like, what is up with, what is up with prisons and jails and mustard? I mean, is it cheap? Did this only cost like a penny a barrel? It was disgusting. Um, let's see what else. Um... Oh yeah, turkey, turkey, dogs, turkey, turkey. Uh, oh, and the and the beef. The beef was actually had had organ meat in it because people kept finding um, these weird tuby things in the meat. Come to find out that it's arteries and kidney and lung and heart and you know because people were coming down with gout and they're like, what the hell is going on? You know. 
Yeah, they were serving us organ meat. I quit eating the beef for about a year of my incarceration because I was just like, I can't take this anymore. This is disgusting. Because the, the beef was actually part beef, part turkey, and part soy. And, oh, another thing, if you chose the alternate and got the soy whatever, that was even worse. Because then they would add soy sauce to it to make the soy taste more soy. All they were doing is adding more salt. And so whenever I'd get my blood pressure checked, the nurses were like, why is your blood pressure still so high? What are you eating? And I'm like, the food from the cafeteria, that's what I'm eating. I'm too broke to buy snacks. And they were just like, oh. Well, when I moved to Northeast, then they were, they threatened to look up what I what I shopped for last in commissary, and I'm like, go ahead, I can give you my last slip because I kept every single one of my slips, you know. And I would get like a bag of animal crackers, coffee, you know, different kind of things, but I wouldn't like go out and buy like the saltiest thing ever on on the on the commissary menu and stuff my face with it every day. I mean, there were some ladies that did that. I didn't, you know. I tried to maintain my diet as best as I could. Uh, and then dinner was pretty much, you know, the same thing. Um, the, the, the menu rotated every three weeks. So three weeks of one menu or whatever, you know, one week, this, that, the other. And then every three weeks, the menu would change. And then they would change from season to season. They would have spring and summer and then fall and winter schedule and, yeah, um, I'm going to do a part three real fast, so stay tuned. Hold, hold on to your seats. I will be right back.